How's it cooking, good looking? My name is Amelie and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect carbonara. Too many people make the carbonara seem like it is rocket science, but today I'm going to show you the five easy steps to get a real, authentic Roman pasta carbonara. All you need is salt, pepper, olive oil. We are going to use spaghetti and you're gonna have some parmesan cheese, two eggs, and preferably you would have pancetta. I don't have that here on Madeira, I just have a nice piece of bacon, which is also okay. Step number one is boiling our pasta. This can be done super easily. You grab the largest pot you have, you fill it with water, bunch of salt, and then we are gonna cook our pasta for like seven minutes, then this skinny little spaghetti is gonna be perfectly cooked. When you add in your pasta, hold it like this, put it in, and then give it a twist and then let it melt slowly into the pot here and once it starts melting you are gonna stir it and I know some people would add in olive oil to your pasta but we don't do that because we have so much fat from the bacon and olive oil from what we are frying the bacon in so the pasta won't stick regardless. Step two is to cut and fry the bacon. Got to cut it into decent chunks not too fat, not too skinny this is gonna bring a nice flavor and a lot of fat in the dish. Frying the bacon is easy. You give the pan a lot of heat, you add in some olive oil, and once the olive oil is nice and hot, we're gonna add in the bacon. So while our bacon is sitting here, getting cooked, and the pasta is getting cooked, we are gonna move on to the next step. As you can see, there's a lot of fat here on this bacon and we don't want to use it all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a paper towel and I'm going to go tilt the pan and then suck up a little bit of all this fat here. And step three is to make what is going to make the cream of the carbonara, which is two things. It's eggs and it is cheese. I'm going to crack the eggs into the bowl and then I'm going to grate the parmesan and I'm going to mix it all together to a fluffy little creamy texture. And then because I don't have a big pan yet, I'm still, I've ordered it, but I'm gonna transfer my bacon into this little bit bigger pan and then we are ready to apply our cooked pasta and the creamy egg sauce. I'm gonna test my pasta, it's been six minutes and it's became, I can already tell this is good. It's al dente. Remove the water, of course. So this pan right here is on low heat. I'm gonna dump in my pasta, turn down the heat of the pan, give this a little stir, and then now we are ready to actually incorporate our sauce. And this is where you have to pay attention because if you have too much heat on what you're cooking, this is gonna turn into what looks like scramble eggs. But if you have the right amount of heat in your pan, this is gonna end up turning out as a sauce, a cheesy, glazy sauce. As you can see, guys, the pasta is perfect. You have this creamy egg here. There's no big chunks in it. It smells like heaven. And now we are ready to plate. This is the fifth step, and it's the best step because that means that you're gonna eat very soon. I'm gonna take some spaghetti, twist it over a little bit. You see? Turn it around like this. You are gonna place it on the plate by turning. And now we are gonna add some of our nice and crispy bacon, like so. A little bit of fresh parmesan. And of course, freshly cracked pepper. 15 minutes later, here it is your real classical Roman caponata. I'm not gonna lie, I've made this dish maybe 100 times, but I have learned how to master it and this is really the way it's supposed to look. All you really have to think about when you make a carbonara is two things. Your pasta has to be al dente and you can't have too much heat on once you put your eggs in. That is what makes a creamy, glazy, beautiful carbonara with no cream, no weird stuff, just the real deal. Mm. This is one of my favorite things to eat and it's so easy. As always guys, if this video made you hungry, please leave a like. If it made you drool, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and let me know what you think about 
the Italian carbonara. See you. Ciao.